So we're still dealing with a homogeneous product, and now we're assuming that we have a first mover. It says that, suppose Larry moves first, what quantity will he choose to produce? Well, if Larry's the first mover, we want to start with Matt's profit function. Because we want to find Matt's reaction function, which will tell us how Matt will choose to react given a, a choice by Larry. So if we know how Matt will react to a choice by Larry, and we're Larry, we would like to use that information in our profit function to maximize profit since we're moving first. So first we want to find Matt's reaction function. We take the derivative of Matt's profit function with respect to QM, set that equal to zero, and solve for QM. So here we have Matt's reaction function, which is QM equals 58 minus 0.5 QL. So now we go to Larry's profit function, and we plug in what we know to be equal to QM, which is Matt's reaction function. So we plug that straight into Larry's profit function in the beginning, and we see that now we have just one variable, and we'll be able to solve for QL once we take the derivative of this with respect to QL instead of equal to zero, of course. So we simplify this down first, take the derivative, set it equal to zero, and we can solve for QL equals 58. 